keep running, Nazis.
keys. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy working on his job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more, and that's why I can't use a good restroom at the and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pack. What kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. food and spreading germ, pooping in our cupboard. He's dying! He's dying, Billy!
your property they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left now i gave you that pocket knife it was in your care it's your responsibility i will speak to the parents you will do no such thing sophia oh you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you are you boy now you go on out there and take back what's yours and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do <laughs> Ah, 
Hey. <laughs> Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. You and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia! You in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? The place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? Need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a 
fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing. What are you, some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. You broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? happened is we had a big goddamn war and now we got a new government with new rules they took her she gone and what's that queer outfit you're wearing what do you mean they took her they rounded up all the jews and the coloreds and the queers this is a white man's world now white man's got to keep it christian you sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing.
boy. He did it. I had my he did it. Ah. 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 show and I'm the guy wearing the black hat no 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 I, no I say you will not deny me access to my client you see you see this read it I am entitled to confer with my client in absolute privacy do you want me to call the judge you will be looking for another job tomorrow you hear me now you let me see my client or are you gonna test me Covering his mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen. Uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, <laughs> popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage where boom, Buddy and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. So bad, you don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right, once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far, we make it. The hard part. He's getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Gott! Sind wir am Hand? Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. Open. Open. That's it. How does it in the garage.
Shh. You're so quiet. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya. My family. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare even for a man of my job description to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. Bailiff.
Before the righteous 